What's going on everyone? Dr. Tyler here. Welcome to my channel. I'm a chiropractor in Newport Beach. This is part two of a guy coming in. He's a former professional MMA fighter and he blew out his low back. Like it's really bad. When he first came in, it was like he could barely walk, you know, he could barely bend over and he's doing a lot better. So I just wanted to do this part two where, you know, we can do like a follow up type of thing and see how he's doing now and um, see the progression through the treatments. We've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I just want to say welcome um, to my channel and I hope uh, you enjoy the content. But first, I just want to give my final thoughts on the Kineon Move Plus Pro and they are sponsoring today's video. So again, it's red light therapy it puts laser beams into the mitochondria in your cell and it tells your mitochondria to produce more atp which is the energy that your body uses for healing red light therapy equals more healing quicker healing more efficient healing so yes this is going to be recommended by me you can buy this with an hsa card it's medical grade i like it it's not super expensive this is going to be really good pretty much for just extremities shoulder elbow wrist knee ankle you know if you have an ankle sprain and you're trying to heal it this is what you would use to help with the healing. This is going to stimulate the healing process more efficiently so that you heal quicker. Any type of wrist injuries, elbow injuries, shoulder injuries, this is going to help when, you know, you fall or something and you fall on your wrist and your wrist is sprained and it's a little swollen or you sprain your ankle and there's a little bit of swelling and it's actively healing. This is going to help with that. I think it's a it's a good buy for if you are helping heal an injury and you have an HSA card and you want to use that money to get something that's going to help with your health. Pretty cool stuff. Good job, Kenyon. I get elbow pain here. So this is how we would put it on. You would kind of tighten it up there, turn that on and then let the red light therapy work. And I like how it's all around the elbow rather than just like one right here because we're surrounding it and hitting all the mitochondria from all angles. Yeah, good job. I can feel the heat actually. Yeah, it feels good. So you put it on, tighten it up, turn it on, let it do its thing, and then watch some TV. Maybe go on TikTok, watch my videos, go on YouTube, watch all of my videos, and like them all, and comment on them, and subscribe please. If you guys want to try the Kineon Move Plus Pro, I have a discount code. It's 10% off. You just use my code Dr. Tyler B. It's going to be in the description. It's going to be in the caption. You'll find it anywhere, but it's a pretty good buy, especially if you have any injury in your extremities, which is like your wrist, elbow, shoulder, knee, ankle. It's really good for that. Definitely be sure to check it out and let's get into the treatment. So he's back. He's back. And better than ever. Better than ever. So you said it's feeling good, just still tight. Still tight, but overall improvement from our last visit, uh, my QLs, my, my sides are still tight, but I think that's just an, an ongoing thing from uh, just sport and yeah. maybe lifestyle. But mm -hmm. other than that, I've been doing the exercises you recommended. So that's the thing. He's been, he's been a good boy in between. The best. I mean, he does other exercises too. You know, I give him like really basic stuff. I mean, you're probably exercising every day, right? Five days a week. Yeah. yeah. So... It really helps. The moment you stop, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah. So just keep going. No, that's the thing is uh, I'm I've tinkered with it, but I find that if I take if I do four days on, I begin to hurt. If I do more than five, my recovery isn't the same. Like, do you do the same exercises every day? No, no. So what, what's on that fifth day? Um, it's almost like a spot treatment. If something's not feeling good, something's tight, I'll go ahead and uh, warm that area of the body up. Mind you, I'll still do what's on schedule. Usually my fifth day will be my posterior chain. That's probably what it is. But it's not an intense day. My fifth yeah. day is always easy. And then day six and seven for the week is rest. just chill and rest. So when you don't have that easier fifth posterior chain day, then it starts to bother you. Okay. Oh yeah, Makes it's all sense. bad. Man, you got a haircut for me? Uh, come on. Dang, this guy's you know that, But you, you, you didn't get the French tips I asked for, so shame yeah, on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot my makeup bag this morning. Terrible. Yeah, sides a little tight in here, a little swollen in here, from what I feel. Yeah, so we'll work in there. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see. If... Any pain with that? There's a stretch right, right, okay. yep, even, even low, right above the waistband. Okay. Yeah. 
this alleviated it. So that's a, a dural tension test actually. So when we flex his head like that, he feels a stretch in his low back. There's things that go all the way up for sure. That's why it's important that we work on the whole spine, not just where he has the symptoms. Yeah, still a little tight on the left side. Let's see if the swelling changed at all with him laying down. Yeah, all of this. So, you know, his QLs, they're, they're the, the muscles in the side of his low back. They start here and they go like this. They resist um, rotation. You know, they're very necessary for spinal stability. They're gonna be a little tight if there is damage in the center of his spine down here, like the disc injury for sure. I'm not too worried about these being tight. I'm gonna loosen them up, but you know, I'm not gonna put them on a plan to try to loosen these up like for good. They're probably tight for a reason. That's fine, like I'm fine with that. As long as you can work out five times a week, you're feeling good, yeah. you got a smile on your, head, on your face. Sometimes, just when I'm here. Ah, uh, just when you see me? You guys, the team, come on, uh, you know that. It's not just me, I thought reaching. it was special. Your honor, reaching. <laughs> reaching. Yeah. Oh, boy. So right in the piriformis. Oh, boy. That right there on that external rotation is totally alleviating the pain in my QL. On my right QL. So that's cool. That's a new trick, huh? At least for me. I know you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on. Just go with it. We're filming. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good. So open those up a little. So PSIS, we're going to go a little bit medial and hit the SI ligament. So we're getting into the QL, following the fibers, going into the spine. Big breath in and out. So I'm right on the attachment point, making him breathe in and out. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah. That was really good. For the students, that was like T11, T10, rotation move, boom, while he's on the pad. Got the, both pads here to take pressure off of the low back. It feels good because his discs are compromised. So when we take pressure off the discs, it feels good. And for him last time, pushing down was a little sensitive, still a little tight in here. So, with this type of stuff, I really want to stretch him out, get the blood pump in, but I'm kind of listening to how his body responds when I'm here. The oohs, the ahs, the twitchiness, the hesitation. Got to hook on. Oh. There. Another rotation up the spine. So when I was working on his piriformis on the side, he said he felt relief in here. So I am going to work in there a little bit. Maybe there's a couple spots in there that I can loosen up a little. A little bit of the swelling in here. We're gonna take the CBD cream, get in here. CBD is really good for inflammation. Also, did you know it's only one click to subscribe? Am what? I worth one click? You think I'm worth one click? Dude, you're worth all the clicks. All of them, so click it all. Click all of them. Dude, my neck is brutal today. Yeah, it is. MMA neck. Oh. Okay, and just a little vibration, this thing's crazy. And again, we're just kind of moving the fluid around in here, trying to bring new fluid in. Ugh. Get a couple adjustments in, let the body heal, and then he goes and he trains, he rehabs, he works out, strength trains. And that's how you manage disc herniations. I'll be honest, I treat this every day, disc herniations in the low back. He has a pretty bad one, and he's working out five times a week. You know, it's it's doable. You don't need surgery. On paper, if we did an MRI, he would probably need to get surgery. That's what it would look like. Oh, for sure. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, you know, is it safe to be adjusted if you have a disc herniation? I'll see like, oh man, I really want to get adjusted, but I have a disc herniation in my low back, and I heard that it's not good for that. It's just like, well, I don't know who you're hearing that from, but I work on that every day. But, you know, to give yourself credit, like, a lot of people don't work on the exercises. They don't work out. They don't try to push through the pain at all. Ooh. It's a little twitchy in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're just happy to see me, huh? That's all it is. Yeah. Do you have any jaw issues? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's part of the reason why my hips are all screwed up. Have you ever broken your jaw? Uh, yeah, it's been offset twice. Ooh. It felt really good. It felt really good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm going to take these out. L4 on the left, sacrum on the right. 
Which side of your, your jaw is... Uh... Really, both sides are super tight, but it's been this side that's been fractured, the left side. But both sides are crazy tight. I blame it on the goose. Mm. What the goose do to you? That's really... Mm. Mm. So I think it's jaws, because, you know... Ah, oh, that was it. Damn, that's crazy. Try not to mess with your jaw too much today. You know, like moving it around a lot, opening, so, closing. So no more three sticks of gum at once? Yeah, or only three. only if it's a uh, big league chew. Oh, you ever have that? That's what I'm fresh out of. Oh, damn, yeah. good. Yo, you like grape flavored stuff? Big league chew, yeah. Grape's like my favorite candy flavor. Really? Okay, pies form right on the mammillaria L4. And we're locked in. It already popped. Okay, let's go like right in there. Good. Let this fall. Good. Okay, let's do another poll. You're funny, you know that? No. You're a funny guy. How? Like a clown? No, I just think you're like the way you say things. You're a funny guy. You have a good personality. Is that okay in the cheeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let me know when you feel it in the low back. Mm. Now I do. Flip down. All right, big deep breaths all the way down your tailbone. Good, and out. Now push your low back into the table. Yep, now breathe all the way down your tailbone. And out, perfect. And he's ready, come on up. Good stuff, my friend. Dr. Tyler, you're my hero. Hey, you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time. Appreciate that. I'll see you too.